to YouTube. I know it's been almost over. A, it's been almost a month since I last vlogged. It's just because I haven't really felt like it. A lot of shit's been going down. A lot of just not fun stuff, and yet also some fun stuff. So. I will respond after I vlog. Okay, so, pretty much just living at home lately has become not so fun, very difficult, just not my cup of tea, so I try to not be around as much as possible lately. I got fired from doing the chores around the house that I normally do, so I figure if I'm not going to get paid to be here and work, then why should I even bother being here during the day when I can't, when I don't enjoy being here, so. Past few, past two days I've been hanging out at my boyfriend's house. Um, my health has been kind of off lately. It sucks, but I'm trying to get better. Just a lot of pain. I don't like it. I'd rather not discuss what it actually is. Otherwise, I've just been on YouTube, on the computer, just doing what I normally do, looking up videos, commenting. Um, school's been okay, it's been kind of difficult, just trying to get everything done, just trying to keep up. It was in, like, Thursday when it was when I started really feeling, like, really bad, so I stayed home from school for most of the day on Thursday. Thursday night I went to class. It was, like, the worst Japanese class I've had with this teacher. It was, oh my god, I don't even want to talk about it. It was just, she, okay, no, I will talk about it. She doesn't know how to explain what the assignment is that she's giving. Because, first of all, she's from Japan, so she doesn't, and even though she speaks English, she doesn't quite understand the concept of explaining something to a full extent so that we can understand it. And it kills us because we're like, if we do bad, it's not our fault. It's because we didn't understand because the whole class doesn't understand what she's trying to tell us. So we'll try to ask her questions and then she doesn't understand what we're trying to ask. And she goes off on something completely different and it's just, it's aggravating and it makes me just, ugh just sucks because like Japanese is something I've been wanting to learn for such a long time and it's one of the main classes that I actually don't enjoy like the only reason I like the class is because there's people in the class that are really freaking cool and we're all and we all really like each other and everyone's really nice to each other so um basically I don't have a favorite class I pretty much hate all my classes no Costume and makeup design is my favorite class. It honestly is. Because I love what we're learning. I love the people that are in it. It take it I keep getting it behind because I I have so much work during the week that I don't have time to do work for that class. So I end up doing it last minute and I end up stressing my heart out, so that just sucks. It's been raining. There was like a storm or something the past few days. It really sucks. I hate this kind of weather. It's makes me sad, and then it just brings me down, and then it just makes it so that there's not much to do, but, yeah, um, <sighs> otherwise I'm working as the janitor at, at the Camarillo Community Theater, I'm, I clean there every Friday or Thursday before uh, a show, because, like, Right now, they're doing Oliver, and every Friday before the cast gets there, I clean the theater. I put, I do, I like just make sure that it looks like presentable for that, for that weekend. And then the next Friday, I do the same thing, and I just keep doing that until the show ends. And then when the new show comes, I like hardcore clean the theater. Like, like I mop, I do all this stuff. So. It's not that fun, especially when I'm alone in the theater, because it's really scary. So, I try to have either one of my parents, or I'm trying to get uh, Nick to go with me, but he hasn't been feeling good lately either, so. So, just waiting for him to feel better. 
He actually is feeling better. I'm the one that's not feeling good now. It sucks. Um. But yeah, Valentine's Day was good. I have something on my screen. I can't get it off. I'll work on that later. But yeah, Valentine's Day was freaking amazing. Nick is the best. He's the best boyfriend in the world. I am so lucky to have someone like him. Honestly, he treats me so well. I wish I could smile. I have a cold sore right here and I need to put some chapstick on it because it hurts to open my mouth. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty fucking happy with him. Like, whenever I'm with him, I'm usually pretty friggin' happy. We've had our little arguments here and there. Of course, they of course, unfortunately, they're my fault. And I feel really shitty. It makes me feel like I'm a bad girlfriend, but I've realized... I just, there are things that I need to work on, and things that he needs to work on, and we just need to find a middle ground. Um, yep, let's see. I'm supposed to get a haircut, and I'm supposed to get a facial soon, because, like, I just have not been feeling pretty lately. I hate the way my hair looks. My face is just broken up, breaking out, and I just, I have dark circles under my eyes and I just I hate my face I hate my big lips I just don't feel pretty lately even though Nick tells me every day that he thinks I'm beautiful it's it's sweet but I just it doesn't make me feel beautiful it just makes me feel like oh he loves me and he's trying to make me feel good and he does he does a really good job so actually I'm gonna try this um 